day two of our trip, and I'm standing here in the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque here in Abu Dhabi, and I'm standing here with fellow leaders of the Zionist Rabbinic Coalition, uh, Rabbi Ariel Boxman from Naples, Florida, Rabbi Alana Rabishaw yes. from Boca, Florida, yep. and Rabbi Aaron Melman from Northbrook, Illinois, conservative reform reform, conservative, <laughs> and it doesn't matter here. One day, one word, how do you sum up the day? So far, we've met with one of the architects of the Abraham Accords. We've been to the Grand Mosque. We've driven around Abu Dhabi. Um, what do you think? Coexistence and tolerance, and it's just been incredibly powerful. Trust and unity, the amount of work that has gone into all of these ideas and into the actual architecture in a way that everybody can be together from all religions. 85% of the people that come to the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque aren't actually people that come here to worship on a regular basis, which I think is just so profound. Overwhelming in an incredibly positive way and understanding the importance of promoting uh, the Abraham Accords. Uh, it's important for us to understand uh, the relationship that the UAE so desires to have with people all around the world. And the word that I would use is responsibility. I actually learned today that I think the Jewish people have a responsibility to step up and meet our Arab counterparts in this endeavor for peace and tolerance. I was inspired today. And the second word that I'll use is uh, interior design. We're redoing the, uh, the sanctuary at, uh, at VBS and uh, I've got all kinds of new ideas now uh, that I'm coming back to LA with. So I look forward to seeing the building committee next week or the following and uh, bringing a message of tolerance and a message of marble and exotic glass back to Encino. I look forward to seeing everybody back in the LA area. Shalom everyone. Hello. Hello. Hello.